hello guys in this video I will show you how to install Ubuntu on your Windows 7 operating system with the help of VirtualBox so downloading and installing VirtualBox is very easy just write VirtualBox on your Google search and it will open your virtual box site and in the download you can download the latest version and install it it's really very easy for process and after clicking some next it will be installed easily second you need to install Ubuntu at the time of making this video Ubuntu 12.10 is the latest version of Ubuntu and try to install 32 bit Ubuntu because 64 bit uh, file will uh, create some problem while installing into VirtualBox so just download it it's a simple process I have already downloaded it so I will not download it once again once you download this Ubuntu ISO file and this virtual box you have installed you will see a icon like that Oracle virtual box just start it and it will look like this what you need to do is go to new and type here Ubuntu and it will recognize automatically that you want the type Linux and version open to and if you want some other version then you can select from here and also from here if you want then click next here yeah, it will ask for the RAM you want to allocate to your system and because my windows is running on this RAM so I will not change it nowadays a higher RAM is available then you can allocate some more RAM to it and I will say next and it's on default option checked so click next and here you want to check VDI virtual box disk image click next and this will tell you dynamic allocation so click next once again here it will ask you how much memory you want to allocate for your Ubuntu operating system standard is 8 GB but if you want to do some more work on Ubuntu you can increase this memory as your memory requirements okay and click next and everything closed so now you can see Ubuntu here now what you want to do is go to this settings and go to systems and uncheck this Dixit floppy option because you no more need this option here and in this option go here <coughs> sorry go here control IDE and click here empty and now click CD DVD 
here and click this circle button and it will show some options so click this CD DVD ROM medium and it will open your file chooser in which select your downloaded Ubuntu 12.10 ISO file this is my Ubuntu ISO file which I have downloaded so just select it and press open and press ok now click start and it will start your system in between you will see some warnings like this so just click ok these are not any threat to your system so just click ok and it will start Ubuntu see it's starting so it will take some time to load and in the next step you will see this install window appearing so this you can select your language for the Ubuntu installation and click install Ubuntu and here it will tell you that the system required at least 4.8 GB GB drive space and you must check drive download a blade while installing and install this third party software and click next it will take some time and this here will show this current this computer currently has the detective operating system so just check this option this option is okay don't worry it will not delete your already installed operating system so just keep it checked erase disk and install ubuntu and then press continue and it will once again take some time and choose your location my location is Germany so I will click continue and here it will ask for the keyboard layout if you have English keyboard then this option is ok English US keyboard but for my notebook I have German keyboard so I I will choose from here in German
so whichever keyboard you want to use just click it So I chose German keyboard and click continue. And here you can give your name. So I will write here. my name and the password if you want to give and it's ok require my password for login and press continue and in the meanwhile you will see that the process below is running automatically regardless of this information and when this process is, will be complete your operating system will start so I will wait for this process to complete now when your Ubuntu operating system is downloaded completely then it will ask for restart your system now so I will press restart now and it will restart slowly because yes it's starting once again taking some time to start and then can start in some time just a few seconds and it will start yes it started and just enter your password which you have set and press enter and you have successfully installed your Ubuntu 12.10 operating system on VirtualBox on your Windows 7 operating system
but I just want to say that if you are using the low RAM then your system will perform a little bit slow when you install this system and you can see here so many options for the operating system and maybe in some other videos I will show you how to use Ubuntu operating system so stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now